So, John the Baptist. John the Baptist is an Advent person. Um, we hear a bit about him uh, once or twice throughout the year, but this is really where we get to meet him and learn about who he is and what he was saying. Advent, uh, of course, is the season of waiting and watching and getting ready for Jesus. And John the Baptist ju does just that. He's getting the world ready for Jesus, preparing. John the Baptist is an Advent person. Uh, this is the season of getting ready, and we know what that's like, right? <laughs> um, buying presents, baking cookies, lighting wreaths, uh, picking out decorations, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Okay, so that last one's a little bit different. <laughs> proclaiming a baptism for the forgiveness of, of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Um, that's the preparation. Hmm, okay. Well, I mean... Yeah, if we think about it, um, preparing the way, getting ready for Jesus, uh, is kind of getting ready for, you know, the real message, the real news that Jesus will bring. Um, and we know that message, right? We talk about it all year, this vision of the kingdom of God, of uh, making the world better, of seeing where things are unbalanced in our society systems and, and kind of evening that out, um, healing the sick feeding the hungry, uh, living into better and more whole community together, um, right from our reading. Every valley shall be filled, every mountain and hill shall be made low, the crooked ways made straight, the rough ways made smooth, and all shall see the salvation of God, right? Evening things out, bringing those valleys up and those mountains low, um, preparing the way, so that it is an open path that everyone has access to the good news and that better abundant life that is the vision of the kingdom of God. Um, fixing the broken systems, uh, making things more right again, uh, and seeing how we can be part of that work. Um, so maybe that proclaiming repentance for the forgiveness of sins isn't so far-fetched when we think about our Advent uh, season. Um, and again, like in the children's message, right, repentance is an interesting word. And, and I had, honestly, always thought of it as like kind of finding what you did wrong and being sorry for it. Um, but, but again, there's more to, the, to it than that. That metanoia, repentance, is that turning from sin, that change of heart, that changing of ways. And you think about it that way. Changing our ways, living life somewhat differently. Um, and as I thought about that, it really like struck me um, very powerfully that recognizing when we do actually do that may be just as important as understanding when we fall short. Um, because to a degree, don't we do that this season? We, we change our ways, sort of, don't we? I mean, we make more time, we make more time for friends and family. We cook special meals uh, for them or we send greetings through the mail uh, to remind each other of our significance, of, of their significance uh, and importance in our small spaces within the world. We, we donate to causes that, that work to do things like end hunger, care for the sick, the young, the old, the in-between, uh, the stranger, people we don't even know. Um, and, and, you know, why do we do all this? It's the season, right? Uh, and maybe we don't think of that as, as living in repentance, um, necessarily, but isn't it a change of way? And if we think of it that way, 
you know, um, baking cookies, buying presents, going to church, um, spending our time on people and on God, thinking intentionally of our neighbors, um, those we know of and those we don't know of. That, that is living a little bit differently, almost in, in a way that prepares for Christ's arrival uh, as we catch glimpses of the world as it could be. You know, those little moments around uh, the dinner table or, or in, in line at the grocery store even, um, just those little glimpses of, of the world as it could be. Um, and we can get caught up in the checklist of the season, uh, baking, decorating, buying presents, and seeing it as a burden, as just one more thing to do. I know that's happened to me. I suspect I'm not alone. Maybe I am, and if that's the case, awesome. <laughs> um, but it is more than that. It's, it's changing, you know, kind of a little bit everything. Just, just a little bit of everything about our lives for a season. Um, and yeah, that's Advent, right? John the Baptist sometimes gets overlooked. Um, he does. He, he shows up and he prepares the way um, and points to Jesus. Um, and sometimes I think he, you know, he kind of gets skipped over because <laughs> we're getting ready for, you know, the main of, you know, the Christmas story. Um, but it's important to know that this is a significant story too. This is a very significant story. And if you are in any doubt about that, check the first two verses of this reading. The author is very careful to note the, the setting within history itself. Naming, you know, Emperor Tiberius. Uh, the, fifth, the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius. Very specific, right? Um, and, and all of the other rulers and events that are going on. This signals to us as readers that this is an event of note. It is that significant that we name exactly where it falls. Um, and we'll get further into exactly what the preparation uh, is, what this message is that John brings um, next week a little bit. Um, but for now, let's settle into the knowledge that this is significant, that preparing is significant. Preparing for Jesus is extremely significant. It's the work of Advent. It's the work of the church. So this season, every time you hang up an ornament or decoration or make a special meal or dessert or other dish, uh, every time you make time for, for God and for God's people, uh, your family, your friends, your neighbors, uh, even strangers, every time you, you come to church or donate your time or your money to a cause that serves those that Jesus would serve. Take a moment to recognize it and think of it in a different way. Remember the Advent adventure <laughs> that you're on uh, and everything that you are preparing for. The message that is to come, the gospel, the kingdom of God, the Christ. Recognize the significance of what you do. Be an Advent person. And remember that you are significant. Happy Advent. Amen. <laughs>